Yeah, makes it hard. Um, like you said, that is three games in a row, and something we really need to be looking at. But um, yeah, just a disappointing game all round against our uh, yeah, uh, traditional foe, New South Wales. Um, yeah, very disappointing. Can you put your finger on why the slow starts? Uh, I feel like we've been preparing really well. Um, um, yeah, uh, maybe it's something we need to look at at training, just around how we start it with our training. Um, but the week, I feel like we've been preparing well, leading into the game. Um, but yeah, we just haven't been uh, nailing it from the start. So, like I said, it's something we'll be going over. Yeah, the New South Wales gave us so many opportunities, didn't they? And um, we just, you know, we just the possession of the ball. I think I talked about the, the Crusaders. Um, uh, New South Wales was, you know, slowing our breakdown well, and um, you know we, we'd have an error uh, time after time, and you just can't win games of footy like that. So um, when we um, you know, looked after the ball um, and had possession uh, and had patience and worked with it. You know, we got good results, but that wasn't very often <laughs> in the game. And you know, I wouldn't say it's the most attractive a game, um, but sometimes you have to win ugly. And New South Wales won. I felt ugly tonight. And once again, it's, it's something. <laughs> yeah, we fell short again. So. Like I said, disappointing. Um, Brad, you had a couple of uh, young guys in there. Um, can you give us an idea how you thought Bryce Hegarty went? Not, not uh, or at 5'8 and there, but more so perhaps uh, Isaac Lucas at foot. Yeah, Bryce um, has played 10 in the past uh, with the Waratahs and also fullback. And he's got real good uh, presence, really good voice, um, and um, experience, I guess, 60 plus uh, Super Rugby games. Is that Lucas? Uh, you know, that's a big night for him tonight to get a start, and he's been showing stuff all pre-season. And I thought he said some little things tonight that was, um, uh, you know, showed his quality. So it's another experience for him. Uh, also, Jack Hardy came on late uh, for the last five minutes or so. So th there's an experience there for him also. I'm sure you would have wanted to have targeted. Frustrated by the turf, not really being able to put it in the scrums there. Just shut it down, didn't it? It's just, so yeah, it's professional um, sport. Yeah, so um, um, you know, the, so the grounds and all the stuff around, just everything, you know, being as, you know, uh, in the space where you, you can play the game, you know, rugby. Grounds. Um, obviously, there's a lot of running around and tackling, but there's some, you know, with the mauling and the scrummaging, and the ground's pretty important. So that sort of just um, that was disappointing. Brad, you've clearly got some issues to work on with the team, but um, you skipper there certainly leading from the front pretty well. Played his heart out, yeah. And a lot of guys were trying hard and um, working hard, but just. Uh, like I said, around um, those errors and, and executing stuff. Sama was, you know, was huge tonight. I think he, um, he he really led the way, and he's doing that um, with his voice. And but yeah, it just felt like you know with the Highlanders, they felt like a high level game of rugby. Um, and then the Crusaders, you know, team that. You know, it's been dominant for the last couple of seasons. Sort of going toe to toe with them, but tonight I felt like we took, to to be honest, a step back, which is disappointing. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure if that's around. You know, I guess my, mindset has a has you know something to to do with that. Sorry. Uh, some of you, uh, 
looking at the thick of it there, uh, did you feel you had a good chance with 15 minutes ago when you got within a, a try of the Yeah, I still um, believe that you know we could win that match. Um, I think as Tony said, just mentally we didn't good put, didn't put uh, good patches together. Uh, we'll play if we all score a try, then we'll let one in or um, lose the ball. So just that uh, ball position and then uh, space where we're going to kick as well. We didn't identify that space too well, and uh, we identified late when Sefa scored that try. Um, so um, we've got to be a lot smarter around that area. And um, yeah, you know, I got 100% belief in the team that we could win games. It's just it's just when you stay engaged and um, you know mentally switched on the whole time. So that's we just keep lapsing in and out. And like when you said, uh, I felt like we took a step back and fell into our old habits that you know um, that we had last year. And that's not what we want. Um, so a lot of learnings, um, just little things uh, that we need to clean up. Um, but it's it's starting to become big things now because of the last couple of weeks. I don't want to comment too much on that. Um, like 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 Tony said, we have a, a pretty strong scrum and wanted to utilise it tonight. But um, yeah, the surface was an, didn't help us, I guess, uh, with that. Um, yeah, I don't want to comment else on that. Were you expecting the surface to play like that, or what did you think it was going to hold up? Oh, it looked really good when yeah. we went out there, but when we did the um, sort of warm ups in the, the ball zone with the scrummaging. It was, yeah, it was, um, yeah, it just didn't have any sort of uh, strength to it. So, yeah. But, um, but on top of that, is, is, that's not an excuse. No. Um, surface, good surface or no, or no good, whatever, um, that game was on us as a playing group. Um, you know, the coaches, I thought, had a, a good game plan for us. Um, we didn't execute it. That's that's on the players. We, we need to um, look at ourselves and... and um, come back better for next week, you know, especially in a, um, another tour game against the, the Sunwolves. So, um, surfers didn't play into it. Um, there's no excuses there. So, there's, there's a lot of passion you've been beside, um, but I mean, that's 10 losses on the bounce now. But at the time, yeah. does that sit in the playing group? Yeah, we just spoke about it just before we ran out, and you know, obviously, it's the perception that I um, keep losing them, and um, we wanted to change that tonight, and unfortunately, it wasn't a night, but. Um, we've got to take these learnings and we've got to really look in, in, into our own games and individually and, and um, you know, once we work on ourselves, uh, the group will be better. So uh, another big test for us um, coming up this week against the Sunwolves. Brad, what's the realistic goal for your team this year? Oh, well, we're just competing every week. Um, you know, a lot of work's gone on uh, in the pre-season. As you've seen, um, you know, I guess people have seen this. I feel like there's been growth with the group. Tonight was really disappointing. Um, and you do have those games. So, um, you know, we'll just be competing again next week. Uh, we're off to Japan. Uh, some of us have you know, been improving. Um, um, you know, and a competitive team, so... We'll just be, uh, you know, we're there to compete and to win games. So that's where it's at. How much will last year's experience help for this week to I think it'll be, um, uh, yeah, it'll help just because last year it was a very new experience, just the time of day that it's played. It's, I think we played at 12 p.m., um, which the guys, you know, there was a, different thing for the guys and um, they get a good crowd there and at the end of the day it's a footy paddock isn't it and you go out and play your game and um, so yeah well um, yeah obviously we're disappointed as you can see um, and you recover and then it comes around again <laughs> that's footy uh, and we'll travel over there it's you know it's a bit of a tr uh, trip um, but yeah we'll we'll prepare and um, try and um, you know, take our learnings from tonight and, uh, you know, put a put a better performance out there. Last question, guys. Brad, we just haven't heard from you on Jordan. Is he um, definitely out for the season? Is there any more update on what that time is? Yeah, I think the injury is a, it's a Liz Franks, which is um, 
I think it's separation in your foot bone, whatever. Um, so yeah, I think it's like a four month injury. So um, really disappointing for Jordan, you know, a real bright prospect and he's important to the team, but um, you know, it gives other guys opportunities and uh, Duncan stepping in there, Sami uh, spit stepping back to the 13, but yeah, with Jordan, you know, it's the start of a, you know, hopefully a long career and, and yeah, it's, it's, sometimes that's part of, you know, professional sport, getting injuries. So, it's really dis disappointing, though. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you.